Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to develop ladder logic from Boolean expression. So let's look at the example first. Y is equal to A naught B plus A B naught and Y is equal to A naught B plus C D. So we will start with the first one that is Y is equal to A naught B plus A B naught. So for A, we use normally close contact and we will connect that in series with B which will be as normally open contact and then we will connect A and B in uh, uh, in uh, parallel with A naught B so for A B naught we will use normally open contact for A and a normally close contact for B so let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this boolean expression so this is the interface of TI portal Firstly, I will go to PLC tags and then default tag table. Here we need to add inputs and outputs. So the first input is A, then we have B, then C, and then D. So there are four inputs, and then we have one input that is Y. So I will write Y. And the output, uh, the address of Y will be Q0.0. As it is an output, so it will start with Q. After that, I will minimize this. And then I will go to program blocks and main OB1. So here we will draw the ladder diagram. So let me zoom in. So firstly, I will insert a normally closed contact for A and then a normally open contact for B. So this normally closed contact will be A and then this normally open contact will be B. And then I will open the branch here and then I will insert a normally open contact and then a normally close contact and then close the branch. So this will be A naught B and then when we connected these in, in a parallel that means there is plus. So th it is A and then this normally close contact is B that is B naught. So this A as normally close contact represents A naught and this B as normally open contact represents B. So this in series A naught and B. So this is A naught B and this is A B naught. So plus is that we have connected these in parallel. So this is A B A naught B plus A B naught. And then there will be a coil and it will be Y. So here for output Y to be on, only one input should be on. Either B should be on or A should be on. If B is on, if B is on, A should be off, then only output Y will be on. And if A is on, B should be off, then also output Y will be on. So, so only one input should be on. Either A should be on or B should be on. And the other should be off. So let's start the simulation here. load and then finish after that i will start cpu and then i will start monitoring on and off after that i will switch to project view So let's create a new project here, create, and let's wait for some time.
So I will go to simulation tab tables and then simulation table one. And then I will right click here and then load project tax. So now we can start the simulation. So here when I turn on A, the current will flow through it and B is off as it is a normally closed contact. In false state, it will allow current to flow through it. As a result, this output Y will be on. And then when I turn on B also, this B in a true state, as it is a normally closed contact, the current will not be allowed to flow through it. As a result, this output Y will be off. And then if I turn on only A, when only A is turned on, what happens? Sorry, when only B is turned on, the current will flow through this A as A is in false state as and it is a normally closed contact in false state. The current is allowed to flow through it and B is also on. In true state, it allows the current to flow through it. As a result, this output Y will be on. So for output Y will be on. So for output Y to be on, either A should be on or only B should be on. Then only the output Y will be on. So let's look at the second example. Y is equal to A naught B plus C D. So here A A naught that means A is, will be used as normally closed contact and that will be connected in series with B plus C D. So B will be connected in parallel with C D and C D will be connected in series with each other. So we are implementing NOT gate, OR gate and also logic gate. So let's move to TI portal. So here for A, we will use a normally closed contact and then for B, we will use a normally open contact. So this normally closed contact will be A and then this normally open contact will be B. And then I will open the branch here and then there will be C as normally open contact and D as normally close contact and then I will close a branch here and then I will insert a coil. So this normally open contact will be C and then it will be D and the output will be Y. So here the output Y so for output Y to be on, A should be off, A should always be off and then there is a choice either B should be on or C and D both should be on. So if C and D both are on and with that A is also on, the, y, the output Y will not turn on as for output Y to be on, A should be off. So A should be off and then either B should be on or both C and D should be on. So let's start the simulator. Then I will click on load and then finish. So after that, I will start the CPU and then click on OK. And after that, I will start monitoring. And then I will switch to project view here.
and here I will create a new project. And after that, I will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. And here, I will right click here and load project tags. So now we can start the simulation. So, when I turn on B, so when I turn on B, output Y turns on, output Y turns on, and then when I turn on A also, the output Y turns off. So when I turn off A and turn on B, output Y becomes on and then instead of B, when I turn on C, Y remains off and when I turn on D also, that is when I turn on C and D, the output Y turns on. And then when I turn on A also, the output Y does not turn on. So for output Y to be on, A should be off and either C and D both should be on or only B should be on. Then only output Y will be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.